I'm Jim Elliott. I'm the founder and president of a nonprofit called Dive Heart. It's unique in that we work with individuals with all types of disabilities in zero gravity underwater. We found that the forgiving weightless wonder of the water column gives them an opportunity to do things that they can't do on land when they're constrained by gravity. After years of working with individuals with all types of disabilities, we discovered that it's difficult to get them to places where the water is warm enough and clear enough to do this. So we decided, why not bring them to us? After years of working with university medical centers doing research, we realized that we needed to create a destination and we reached out and pulled in a team of professionals, architects and engineers and business planners to help us design and, and work out a sustainable program so that this can be here a hundred years from now to help individuals with disabilities from all over the world. I'm really excited about the team that we've put together to create this facility. They've helped us keep to our principles and made it ecologically friendly, as well as having it be accessible for all people and giving us a unique design that will keep safety at its forefront. I'm a British trained project management and cost management uh, specialist in the construction sector. I have fairly good contacts in the industry and was able to pull together a team, the architects, the engineers, that put together not only the, the physical architectural plan, but the budgets and the operational plans for a facility that would become an anchor, a destination, and support not just the Dive Heart teaching mission, but also some of the visionary stuff that was just beginning to surface in terms of the benefits of diving. What we hope to do at the destination is conduct research, rehabilitation, education, training, and provide vocational opportunities for individuals, not just with disabilities, but of all abilities. What Dive Heart's trying to do is say, okay, there's training pools, there's exhibition pools, and then really the signature piece that Dive Heart wants to create is the, is the deep telescoping pool. We've worked with engineers, we work with designers, and the logistics of how to drill deep caissons in doing this, what structural systems, how the filtration and how the pieces from the bottom to the top go, maintenance. And so these are things that we looked early on with the project and really said, how could this be possible and how can we make this be built? Even though there are other deep pools in the world, our patented design is focusing on research, rehabilitation, and safety it's above grade to a certain percentage. So maybe the first 20 feet will be glass. It will be a place where individuals can watch their loved ones go through research or rehabilitation, uh, or just learn to dive. We did develop a plan. It's very visionary. It really accommodates a lot of the future mission and vision for Dive Heart. It will come to fruition probably in phases and uh, uh, but it, it, it truly uh, supports what I believe is a, a tremendous need that Dive Heart is addressing. We wanted to see if we could create it net zero or net positive water, net positive energy, and look at how light could this be put on the surface of the earth? What could be reused in the future? What sort of processing can we look at that the heated water comes from solar thermal on top of the roof? We can warm the water to 72 degrees. I know Dive Heart wants to get the water warmer than that for the people to be using it, but using the warmth of the earth by geothermal to possibly warm the water rather than looking at a mechanical system at doing it. So using these passive strategies rather than active strategies that we want to, we want to integrate them into the design of the pool. Some of the benefits that we've seen in deep water can be replicated at our destination. Those include range of motion, we work with physical therapists, occupational therapists, and recreational therapists, along with rehabilitation physicians that have said this helps in so many ways because gravity is no longer a concern. One in five people knows somebody who's disabled. It's astounding to me that this community can have an opportunity like Dive Heart and, and the ability to get in the water and change their lives. This facility isn't just about scuba diving. It's about taking a person with a disability and helping them have a paradigm shift where they no longer think of themselves as a person with a disability, but someone who has many possibilities in their lives. 
I think this project could really be different than anything else built anywhere in the world. It could be a destination, it could be a place of permanence of what could be done with everyone in an equal setting. There's a independence that Dive Heart brings to people and being able to do that not just in an open space, but also in a controlled environment so they can do it in other spaces as well. The location for our pool is in the Chicagoland area, and we feel that that's important logistically because people from all over the country can come. Researchers can come and conduct cutting-edge research on Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or, or autism, and they can do it and, and get here easily because Chicagoland has two major international airports where people can fly in from anywhere in the world and be here quickly and then begin to work in our facility. The program is well thought out. It is operationally sustainable. We didn't just look at building this thing. We looked at it as if it were a business that has to sustain. And so it's buildable, it's sustainable. It affects a huge number of people, not just the people who actually go through the pool, but people who come here and get trained. One of the outcomes from the Dive Heart programs is what we like to refer to as the ripple effect. People come and experience something that brings them joy, that brings them confidence, that changes their lives. And what they want to do is run out and tell everybody else how their lives can be changed as well. Zero gravity is a great place and a great equalizer for people to come together. So a veteran who is a wheelchair user can also dive with their child who has autism, for example. This can bring families together and they can participate in something that otherwise they might not be able to do. With our own pool, and a destination that can draw people from around the world, we believe that we can scale up and that we can serve tens of thousands of individuals with all types of abilities and give them the experience of zero gravity and begin to conduct this research and rehabilitation and show them what it's like in inner space. Folks using this pool will not only help themselves, they'll help others. There's a tremendous amount of science being talked around right now that can benefit not just the obvious disabled divers, but folks with other conditions. You know, when you see it, the design itself is stunning. With the patented design, we're looking at stepping down and telescoping down safety is number one, functionality is number one, and experience for the people are number one as well. And we, we think we can do that with this patented design. We know that aqua therapy is very powerful. In a pool, in 30 minutes, if you've never been in the water before, I can get someone in a wheelchair standing up. And the thrill for me is when they look down and go, oh my God, this is the first time I've been standing since my injury 15 years ago. That is a magical moment that we can make happen in less than an hour. So I guess what I'm asking is, if you have the opportunity to give, this is your chance to be part of something that's gonna change the lives of individuals, not just with disabilities, but of all abilities around the world. You can make a difference. Dive Heart's motto is imagine the possibilities. With your financial support, we can leave a legacy of love for decades to come and help people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their life. <laughs>